We went home for a little bit before coming back to Japan. We renewed our driver's permit and now we are driving. I mean, the car's not really moving, but yeah. Travel gone wrong. With Tokyo being incredibly crap for springtime cherry blossoms, Vivian and I decide to escape up north to the untapped beauty of a countryside in Japan, Tohoku, where she promises me that I can photograph cherry blossoms with an actual ancient castle from the 1600s, a mystical horse carriage riding through a pink forest, a lonesome cherry blossom tree with a mountainous landscape located deep inside of a cow farm, and Five mistakes Jason will make on this road trip. What mistakes? I like it. But when it comes to anything oh. beautiful, there must be a struggle to achieve it. This is a story on how everything goes Travagon. wrong for us road tripping through the countryside of Japan as we hunt for cherry blossoms. Welcome to Tohoku Gone Vaughn. Now, unlike central Japan, where it's more convenient to take the train everywhere, the best way to get around the countryside is by driving. Luckily, renting a car in Japan is incredibly easy. But unfortunately, being the Americans that we are, we don't drive on the right side of the road. Yeah. Or is it the left? Is my e-brake on? No, it's not. Just... Oh my god, why is that on? No, it's flipped! Oh, Go to. For our first spot, we'll be going to Kitakami Tenshoji Park ranked as one of the top 100 best cherry blossom spots in all of Japan. And this is where we will apparently see a horse carriage walking down a path filled with 10,000 cherry blossom trees. And believe it or not, we arrive on the day of maximum bloomage. Wow. That is some of the best looking cherry blossoms I've seen. Look how fluffy they are. They are beautiful. They're fluffy and they're pink. And they're sun. Oh. But renting a car is our first mistake. This is supposed to be a five minute ride. What total time? Hour 23 minutes. It has now been 83 minutes of us being stuck in traffic. Okay, I'm gonna get some water. All right. Oh, I feel like we're on a road trip. We haven't even, we only go like one kilometer. This is actually a parking lot of a family mart, one of Japan's top convenience store chains, most notably famed for their juicy, crispy fried chicken, the Family Chicky. I'm gonna attempt to find parking. You're gonna meet me all the way at the end over there. Vivian and I decide to split up where she'll grab a quick bite to eat while I march into the park by foot. And my God, these may just be the fluffiest cherry blossoms I ever laid my eyes on. It might be the juiciest family chicken I've ever eaten. Mm. Mm. In addition to their overwhelming abundance of cherry blossom trees, Kitakami Tenshoji Park is actually quite famed for the vivid carp streamers over the river. Just look at the fine details in these prints as they flutter with the wind. Combine that with the bright yellow bridge and the ripened cherry blossom, it equates to an incredible view that just screams springtime in Japan. I think that was a huge success. And what a strong start if we're gonna be selling any of these prints to fund for the next season of Travel Gone Bomb. Check out the store link down below. Oh, a text from Vivian. I'm the next car. Melty smiley emoji. The whole fucking way. I'm dying. <sighs> And finally, 40 minutes later, which now brings us a grand total of two hours for what was supposed to be just a two kilometer drive. Oh, I can turn. From the opposite ends of the park, we convene right in the middle. You sure you're on the main path or are you on the, oh, there you are. I found you. So Vivian claims there is a horse that walks down this path. I'm not making it up. She claims she took the photo on her film camera that's just like, rude. really? Really? Unfortunately, I don't have the time to wait until Vivian develops her role of film just so I can see this supposed horse shot. It's horse. You know what? Check back with me in a week. So we decide to split up once again. I'll prove it to you. Since I haven't eaten any lunch yet, I asked Vivian to grab me some nearby festival food while I go on this wild goose chase. Or should I say, wow, horse chase. <gasps> festival food. 
get a couple of snacks because I am hungry. I think this is the spot right here. I see depth. I love depth. I see crepe. I love crepe. Well, I walked the whole path and I didn't see a horse. I got a crepe. Wow, this looks so good. All right. It's been 20 minutes. I haven't seen a single damn horse. I'm going to go back to Vivian so I can give her a piece of my mind. You want meat? You want to get some meat? Come on. I can choose. I buy you some meat. Come on. Oh, hold on. What's that? So, uh, who said there's no horse? There's the horse. Now, catching up to the horse is actually our second mistake. He's gonna turn around. He's gonna turn around. Because now, he's turning around. <laughs> Looks like we're not the only ones that are after the horse shot. I need like a good enough distance because I have the one to 400. You see, the reason why I'm running as far away from the horse as I possibly can is because I'm using a telephoto zoom lens. This allows me to compress the background and make the cherry blossom seem much closer to the horse. <laughs> Fortunately, the lens being the 100 to 400 millimeters, I'm gonna need a whole lot of distance just to get the whole horse in the frame. Okay, I don't think I even got the shot to be honest with what? you. What? I don't think so. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> it's, it's close enough. Oh, that's the shot. Vivian approves. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. <laughs> well, it's finally time for me to eat. We got festival ramen. We got festival curry rice. We even got festival steak. The great thing about showing up to any Cherry Blossom hotspot is that they'll usually be in abundance of food stalls ready to serve you some delicious and affordable eats. Gotta fill up now because who knows if tomorrow I'm gonna have to chase down a moving castle. That is ancient sorcery. All right, that was delicious. I think it's time to head to our hotel. Oh, back to our car. Sort of glamorous hotel we got ourselves this time. All right. Minimalism. A bed to sleep on and TV to watch. That's all you need. Wow, they gave us free lemon jelly. It may not be a five star hotel, but I'm getting a five star sleep on this bed. So nice, so soft. Almost as nice as soft as these cherry blossoms here. Now, I'm excited for today because Vivian is taking me to Morioka, where apparently there's an actual ancient castle surrounded by cherry blossoms. Maybe it's not the kind of castle that we think it is. I don't know, but it's called Castle Park. Let's just go look for cherry blossoms. I saw some over there. Okay, let's go. You stay inside most of the time, but you know... I think this is supposed to be the castle but there's a fence, so we can't get in. So you know what I think? What? I think they just haven't built the castle yet. Oh. So there's no castle. Do, 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 do. Well, that dream was short-lived. All right, we gotta move on. There's no castle here. I mean, let's keep walking. Maybe there is a castle. First you had me chase after a horse and now you're you know what it is? I have medieval dreams. So not only did Vivian set me on a literal wild wow horse chase, but now she's really sending me on a wow castle chase. Hard to change. Oh, you're up here. Look, there's your castle. 
Wow. There ain't no castle. But it's beautiful up here. Look at your background right now. That is gorgeous. Where's my castle? This is truly travel gone wrong, folks. We are not making this debacle up. Don't worry, we have another castle later on in this trip. <sighs> Something about filming in cinematic mode on my camera, the Sony ZV-E1, makes this place feel like we're walking into a movie set. It is absolutely gosh darn gorgeous here, despite the lack of castle. As it turns out, most websites like to omit the word ruins in the search. So what it really is, is Morioka Castle ruins. I can tell you what else is in ruins. My day. Don't be a baby. But we have made a discovery. Off into the distance lies Mount Iwate, one of the two beautiful mounds I look forward to seeing on this road trip. While it's not as tall as its Fuji counterpart, Mount Iwate is still very famed in this region. As I get my shot ready, Vivian interrupts me with this little nugget of information. Wow, that is gorgeous. But this is an even better shot of the mountain with the field and a cherry blossom tree at a cow farm. Really? Yeah, let's go there. But I have a great shot right now. No, but there's too many buildings here. That one's gonna be empty and clear. It's gonna be beautiful. All right. You promised me a castle, and now you're promising me cows. But first, breakfast. Morioka is also known for Wonko Soba where you can play a little game of who can devour the most bowls of soba noodles. I just need to eat one more than you. Oh my god, really? So whatever your final count is, I just have to eat one more but than I'm you. I'm gonna want to eat one more than you. The Soba Noodle Challenge. How Wonko Soba works is you have a waiter who's coming back and forth with a tray filled with tiny bowls of soba. They'll drop the soba into your main bowl and proceed to stack the empty bowls to tally how many bowls you've eaten. Apparently, 15 of these small bowls equals one normal bowl of soba noodles. The current record is 500 bowls from a man from Osaka and 570 bowls from a woman in Morioka. Now for us normies, 100 bowls is enough to get a certificate that we can probably hang on our wall. Plus, it makes one hell of a resume. Now, the first 20 bows, you're gonna feel like, oh yeah, I can conquer this challenge at 100 bowls easy. <laughs> I was wrong. You see, I'm at my 40th bow now, and things are starting to settle in. Not only the soba noodles, but all the poor choices that I've made in my life, including this one. Solidifying this is the third mistake that I've made on this road trip, trying to top Vivian's score. Go! we don't recommend trying Wonko Soba. If you happen to find yourself in Morioka, it's a once in a lifetime experience. But remember, come with an empty stomach. Better than empty promises, I can tell you that. The final count. Vivian, 100. Jason, 112. <laughs> this boy's talking a lot of smack for someone who's not the one driving. Let this signify that I am the best. Okay, Mr. Best, good thing I have the car keys and I can leave you here. Goodbye. So after no castle and our stomach being pumped full of soba, it's time for us to head to this cow farm that Vivian is raving about. Cow farm. In 700 meters, turn left. Oh, there's a tree. All right, there's some people here, it's a good sign. That's the one, that's the tree! Oh my god. There's no cows. I never said there was cows in front of the mountain. I just said we're going to a dairy farm that has cows, but this shot is like near the dairy farm. Close the door, stop being a baby. Oh my god. That's the tree. Yeah. Does that look ready to you? Maybe. It's getting there. It's getting there. We're only here for like now. Moo! <laughs> moo! <laughs> moo! No, I don't see any cows. I never said the cows were here. Unfortunately, I... that is the reality of nature photography. Timing is everything. Despite your best effort of planning your entire trip around Peak Bloom, there can still always be that one little lone tree that's going to be a late bloomer. So this is what it could be on a really good day with the cherry blossom in bloom. We're just missing it in bloom. Wait. 
They closed the parking lot at three. What? So the guy made me leave. All right, let's see. Our next stop is Weeping Cherry Blossoms at where now? Next stop, Weeping Cherry Blossoms. Apparently this place is like a samurai something. There's like a samurai world or something. There's a samurai world? I don't know. Now there's samurais? <laughs> The website I was checking said that this place was ranked number one in this region as the best cherry blossom spot, so we have to go. Now, for location being the number one cherry blossom spot, something's wrong. We're not experiencing any traffic jam. Like, should there be more people lining up to get in? Pretty sus if you ask me. Calm down, let's just park first and see. <sighs> Jason, come here. I was gonna take off by the river. But there's someone playing there. there oh, show me in. Wow. Look, I don't want to disturb him. I'm gonna yeah. go over there. Then. It's a shopping set, right? Is that so cool? Oh. Playing shami sen underneath cherry blossoms doesn't get any more badass than this. So this is the uh, number one visited cherry blossom spot, huh? According to this website, let me just take a screen cap now so I can prove to you what I saw. Ishigoro Samurai House. It's a thing. These are samurai houses. Tours of the 19th century home of a samurai family. This is here. It's around here. We are surrounded by old samurai families. I'm screen capping the website right now to show you that this is the number one spot. Right here. See? Proof. Indeed, the samurai houses with the weeping cherry blossoms do look pretty neat. But sadly, it is I who is weeping. For Samurai District, it's a place where you can actually go inside these traditional samurai homes. But unfortunately, we arrive during closing hour. Oh, that explains the lack of cars. Well, look! Samurai Manor Museum. Looks well, like Samurai's closed for business. So this is the third lie that Vivian had sold me on. No castle, no cows, no Samurais. Three strikes, you're out. Three strike you. And that, my friends, is my fourth mistake. My advice to anyone out there in a relationship, if you're not holding the key to the car, do not fan the flame. Hey, right, wait. Bye, you me a liar. You can find your own Come back. At least I got that epic shamisen player underneath the cherry blossoms. Cooler than any samurais, I suppose. I think one night of sleeping on the bench is a good enough lesson for him to learn. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness you're not going to leave me. <laughs> Vivian's coming back for me this morning. All right, so where are we going for our final shot? We are going to Hirosaki Park. It is one of the most beautiful spots for cherry blossoms, apparently. Okay. And this will be cherry blossoms, a bridge. A bridge? Uh huh, yeah, and, and, and a castle. Am I selling it really well? Well, folks, you heard it here. The three elements needed to finish the episode. The cherry blossom, the bridge, and of course, the castle. And we're gonna see a castle. Yes. Oh, no, no, I mean, maybe, maybe. Uh, Don't, I, I'm not saying yes, because you're gonna hold me to that. Not a good track record maybe. for you this video. Not a good track record. Unfortunately, the clouds are starting to roll in on our final leg of the trip. And some of you know my relationship with clouds. There's a thick layer of clouds just... Oh. It's getting so bad so quickly that we couldn't even see the second mountain I wanted to capture. Mount Iwaki. Oh my god, there's a lot of cherry blossoms wow, here. Wow, wait, this place is huge. Oh my lord. Oh. Wait, now we have to find parking. Oh my gosh, we have like an hour left. 
Even before pulling into the parking, we're already mesmerized by the cherry blossoms along the road. We are finally- We made it! All right. Oh, <sighs> it's, dude, it's raining. It's raining? Yeah, it's sprinkling a little bit. It is a damn shame to show up at a beautiful spot only to have the rain dampen the mood. The temperature difference between going up north is definitely noticeable. I don't know, it's just something about random vending machines with cherry blossom in the park. It just looks amazing. I gotta say, this is like the most cherry blossom I've seen like in a park. It's just so full, just like boom. You know, they call it cherry blossom, but I would like to call these cherry bosoms. We just got here and now I have to leave you here. Wait. Huh? The castle's right there. No. I see the bridge. Is it under construction? I think so. Yeah, kidding me. Oh. Um, so I think that's the bridge right there. But they're doing construction this whole area. Well, we got the cherry blossoms. We got the bridge. We got the castle. But what we also got was more than what we bargained for. But it's all the three things that I promised you. A bridge, cherry blossoms, and a castle. I really wanted to end this road trip with a bang, but... Not all hope is lost yet. Whoa! Ooh, see, that's the castle! That's the lighting right there. I told you there's a castle! Okay, it's not under construction, thank goodness. Just that backside is under construction. Okay, I'm glad, because <gasps> this looks really amazing. That's so pretty! All right, all right, all right. Here comes my fifth mistake. Not trusting in Vivian. Because there's still so much more to the park. And with some clever camera angles, we are able to salvage some amazing photos of Hirosaki Park. So uh, is there something you want to say to me? <sighs> you're right, you're right. What? I couldn't hear you. You're right, you're right. Oh, thanks. What am I right about, huh? You're right about the castle and you are right about the cherry blossom. And? And you were also right. Crossing the bridge would get us a better shot. The bridge was a connection to making dreams come true. <sighs> I am sorry. All right, okay, that's enough. That's embarrassing. There's people around. Let's go. But we're not done yet. The next morning, we're blessed with some sun, offering us a bit more of the beauty that is Hirosaki Castle Park. Wave. Like this heart-shaped cherry blossom tree here. That, uh... <laughs> Vivian's trying to photograph, but this little girl keeps getting in her way. And this moat shot with the blossoms in the water. <gasps> At least somebody got their shot today. And sadly for me, no epic Mount Iwaki shot. Despite the sun's best effort, the haze is still too strong. Thanks Lightroom, you tried. We have one more Cherry Blossom episode left in this trilogy, so subscribe to be notified when that drops. In the meantime, you can catch all of our previous Travel Gone Bong shenanigans here in this playlist. All right, I think we can learn a lot from Vivian today. Uh, just if life kind of hits you in the face, just cross that bridge. Make it to the other side. Yeah, make it to the other side. And you never know what you might you find. You never know what you might find. And always listen to Vivian, because she's always, always listen right. To Vi Wait, what? Always trust in Vivian. And don't forget, the photos you saw today are available as prints and as digital downloads. Check out the store link down below. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next Travel Gone Vong. Peace. Travel Gone. Thanks for watching. Travel Gone, Travel Gone, Travel Gone Vong. Travel Gone, Travel Gone, Travel Gone Vong. Travel Gone, Travel Gone, Travel Gone Vong. 
Oh, it may be the juiciest family chickens I've ever eaten. Mm. Oh. It's kind of dirty when you do it.